When students decide to pursue structural engineering, they think about all the design and structural analysis software that they're gonna need to know as a structural engineer. So they go and try to learn all these different programs. But what if I told you that the most important software you need to know as a structural engineer going into the building design industry is a drafting software? Let's go. The program I think you should learn is a drafting slash 3D modeling software called Revit. And you probably heard about it already if you're a civil engineering student or if you are in the construction industry at all. There are many reasons I think you should learn Revit and you can find a lot of free content on the internet. I'll list three main reasons. The first is because more and more structural engineering firms are switching to Revit. So if you're going to interview for a job, most likely that company is using Revit. And if they're not, and they do structural engineering and they're in building design, they may switch to Revit in the near future. So it would be an extra skill that you would bring to the table. And the reason I say they will likely switch to Revit is because a lot of architectural firms are already using Revit. Usually an architect gets a project and then they select consultants, mechanical engineers, structural engineers, civil engineers, so on and so forth. Most likely they are going to select a structural engineering firm that is also using the same drafting software they're using because that just helps a ton for drawing coordination if you're on the same page, no pun intended. For example, Revit is mostly in 3D, so you have 3D models that you can literally merge together and see where things are clashing. If you have one company using a 3D model in Revit and the other company in AutoCAD, you can still coordinate the drawings, but you have to bring everything to 2D to be able to coordinate them in 2D. Now you may think, well, the structural engineering firm I may apply to, they may be using Revit, but they must have drafters or 3D modelers, people who their sole job description is to do drawings. While that is true for a lot of companies still, there is this trend going on that structural engineers are also doing the drawings. And currently that's what I do and I love it. I think it's a great way for structural engineers to learn how things are put together and literally the most important deliverable from a structural engineering firm is not the calculations. It's the set of drawings, a set of 2D drawings that's going to show what the design is. So for a structural engineer to know how to put together those drawings and to use Revit to provide details and 3D models is really an added skill that can also expedite the process. The second reason is as an entry level structural engineer, if you know at least the basics of Revit, you can hit the ground running right away if your company is using Revit. There's so much to learn in structural engineering in the technical aspect that it will take you a while for you to master reinforced concrete, steel, and many other topics in structural engineering. But if you know this one piece of software and the company needs help on a project because the schedule is aggressive, you can really be an asset to the company right from the get-go. The third reason is that Revit is going to help you improve your detailing skills. And what I mean by that is that you won't be too worried about knowing how to just use the software. You actually will be able to produce details sooner in your career. And this is crucial because when you produce a detail on your own, it really shows how well you know how things go together on site, constructability wise, and also from a structural standpoint, the load path. Is this rebar in the proper place? Is there enough concrete clear cover? So when you put the drawings together and you show to your supervisor or your project manager, they'll be able to see, wow, is this a clean detail or is this looking like something that wouldn't even work structurally or wouldn't be able to get built? So now that you're producing details on your own in the software that you know how to, to use well, it's really gonna help you essentially display how much you know about structural engineering on the technical side and get help from others because now your mentor will be able to look at your details, the drawings you produce and really tell you, hey, this is why this detail needs to look different so that it can be built on site. So learning Revit also goes along with improving your technical skills still early in your career. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Revit is a software I use every day in my career. I highly recommend you learn this software because it's really powerful and it's really trending up in the building design industry. Going along with learning and improving your skills as a structural engineer, the next step in your career after getting that first job is really improving your technical skills. And I recommend you check out this video here where I go over why I think you should take the PE exam early and really hone in on your technical skills. And I'll see you next time.